So my name is Tyler Kamarley and welcome to the Thomasville History Center. I'm here today to talk to you about the Apprentice Program that is launching this fall at our History Center. So let's get started. We'll go through and then if you have any questions, we'll definitely answer those at the end of our program here. It shouldn't take too long to talk about everything. And then if you are catching the recording at home, thank you for tuning in. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at the program first. We're gonna overview it and look at the goals. We're gonna do a little Meet the History Center staff. We're gonna look over the application process for all of you high school students wanting to apply to the program. We're gonna go over some quick tips for applying. And then at the end, we'll have a Q&A session. If you're watching the replay and you have a question, if this is reposted on our social media, feel free to call us, comment below, ask us any questions you may have about the apprentice program. All right, so I'm super excited to in introduce this program to you today. The program goal is right here on your screen. It's a fantastic goal and I'm very excited about it. The Thomasville History Center's new apprentice program is going to empower high school students to become consumers and producers of history through mentorship and project-based learning opportunities here at the History Center and in our larger community. High school students in grade nine, nine through 12 are encouraged to apply this year. You can be a public school student, a private school student, or a homeschool student. We would love it if you are curious, creative, and have an interest in storytelling. Museums are all about telling stories. And this year we are accepting eight students maximum. We do hope to grow the program into the future. So if you don't make it this year, or if you don't wanna apply this year and you wanna wait and see how it goes, definitely keep us in mind next year. A few of the things that we're gonna do, number one, you're going to get an up close and behind the scenes look at the Thomasville History Center. So you'll get to go into all the secret areas here that we go into daily as staff and you'll get to see some of the up close things that we do here, such as our exhibits, program creation, and even how we run the History Center. You'll learn how museums and nonprofits in Thomasville work. We're very blessed in our community to have a number of nonprofits, and we're going to be partnering with a few of them this year as we explore parts of our community. We'll have two meetings a month. The first meeting is always on the first Tuesday of the month. The second meeting is on the third Saturday. We'll do four learning excursions to local institutions. Those learning excursions will start in December and then from December until March, we'll go on one learning excursion a month. The really cool thing about this program is that you will actually be able to apply real world scenarios in a capstone project at the end, which we'll talk more about that in a minute. And the second awesome thing about this program is that it is completely free. To high school students. We were very fortunate to be underwritten by the Thomasville Antique Show Foundation with a grant, and we are very thankful and appreciative for that. For our learning excursions, we are going to use the wonderful institutions in our community to learn more about nonprofits and about museums as a whole. In December, we'll take a trip to Tall Timbers, in January, we're going to go to Pebble Hill Plantation and learn about the different roles that museum staff play in their interpretation there. In February, we're going to go to the Jack Hadley Black History Museum to learn about how local history and artifacts and material culture can combine to tell a story. And then in March, we're going to go to the Thomasville Center for the Arts, where we will learn about community outreach and how a nonprofit institution discovers and fulfills the needs of its community. For your capstone project, so this is going to be a huge project that you will have to do, not huge as in workload, but huge as in super awesome and pretty fun. You can do almost anything you want. So this project will be presented in April. However, you can do it or complete the project at any time during your apprenticeship with us. You can make anything that we make here. You can make a program, a lecture, 
You can make a brand new exhibit. You can update one of our older exhibits. I'm standing in front of um, one of the areas that we have not yet updated. You can create a play to tell one of the museum's stories. You can create what we refer to as a back end option in the history field. So we do a lot of surveys and evaluations to find out how people who come to museums, how they like them, what they want to do there, what they thought was the best thing, what we could improve on. You could create one of those if you're more of a behind the scenes person. If you like working with children, you can make something for kids. If you want to create something for adults, you can create something for them. You can create something for the ton of volunteers that we have that help us out here at the Thomasville History Center. You can help us with social media, marketing, collections, which is all the things you see around a museum. You could do some educational things, which is what I myself do. The possibilities for you here in your capstone are limitless, and it's going to be a real world thing that you get to do. It's not just a presentation. It's not just a paper or a research project. It's actually something where you can go, I made this, I did it, and this is how people responded to it. So here are your mentors for the program. So my name is Tyler Kamarley. I am not a mentor for the program, but I am the apprentice program facilitator here. We have Ann McCutton, our executive director. So you could partner with Ann to learn how museums work inside and out, to learn a little bit about budgeting and to learn about community relations. We also have Ephraim Rotter. Ephraim is our curator. So if you are into the stuff in museums, Ephraim is definitely going to be your guy. Amelia Gallo is our programs and membership manager. If you're more interested in events, reaching out to schools, doing a performance, anything of that nature, Amelia is going to be your person. And then Mimi Hand is our curatorial and programs assistant. Mimi Hand is a jack of all trades. She is very talented. She is very gifted in research. So if that is your thing, you can become a mentee of Mimi. She's also very good at material culture, which is some of that stuff in museums and the history behind it. So during our program, by January, you'll be assigned a mentor based on your interest and what you like within the museum field. And you'll partner with either Anne, Amelia, Mimi, or Ephraim to explore your interest in our museums. And this mentor will also help shape your capstone project. All right, so here are your important dates. The deadline to apply is September 15th. That is in two weeks. You will be notified of your acceptance by September 30th. And then our first meeting will be here at the History Center on October the 5th. So again, application deadline, September 15th. You will be notified by September 30th, and we will have our first meeting here on October 5th. So here are some tips and tricks for the application as well as where it's located. You can find the application online if you go to thomasvillehistory.org. You can fill the application out in a Google form, or if you're a little more old school, you can print it out. We have a PDF on there. You can fill that out and bring it in. You do have to have a teacher recommendation for it. Down here at the bottom under the For Educators section, section, that's where you'll direct your teacher to. And they can fill that out in a Google form. If they want a paper version of it, just have them contact us and we can see what we can do to get them one. All right, here are your definite tips and tricks for the application. Whether you do it online or you write it out, please use complete sentences. Also proofread and don't just proofread once. Proofread multiple times, have someone else proofread your application for you. Be yourself in your application. We want to get to know you. No one is perfect and we are not looking for perfect apprentices this year. So just be you, let who you are shine through in your application. That's who we want to get to know and that's who we want in our program. Make sure you clean up your social media. We are going to ask for your social media handles on your application. So TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you may have out there, please clean it up. Make sure that what you're putting out there is indicative of someone 
who would work at the History Center. You can email or text me with questions. My email and my phone number are both on the application. They're on the screen here. And then make sure you turn your application in on time. The deadline is September the 15th. And it is very important when you're turning in applications in the real world to turn things in in a punctual manner. So September 15th, whether you're doing Google Forms or whether you're writing out your application, please get it to us by then. And we've actually already had a few come in from what I've heard. So here are some tips and tricks for your teacher recommendation. Please get a teacher who has known you for at least two years. The reason why we say this is we want you to get someone who knows your strengths and also knows how you overcome your weaknesses. Make their job easy by giving them a list of accomplishments and skills that qualify you to be a history apprentice. So if you are a good researcher, if you are good at organizing things, if you are a people person, if you are a good speaker, if you are good at time management, any skill you have that you think qualifies you for an apprenticeship, Make a list, give that list to your teacher who's gonna write your recommendation for you. It will make their job easier. Give them at least two weeks to submit it. That's a common courtesy when asking someone for an for not an application, for a recommendation for an application, no matter what it's for, give them at least two weeks. So if you're keeping track of dates, if you haven't asked someone to be your recommendation yet, this is the week. Ask them this week, that week, way they have at least two full weeks to write it and turn it in. Don't ask to see a copy of the recommendation. That's kind of frowned upon. You just trust that who is writing one for you will speak well about you. Make sure you pick someone who is going to say good things about you and is going to speak well on you, on your well about you on your behalf. If they give you a copy, great. If not, don't ask to see it. And then lastly, direct them to our website. Most teachers, no matter what school district they're in, as well as most parents who do homeschooling, know how to use Google Forms. It's very easy to fill out. It has a few sections. We just ask them how long they've known you, what their name is, what they have taught you, where they currently teach. And then we ask them to say all those super awesome things about you that will help you in your application process. And lastly, since it is still 2021, we do have some COVID-19 precautions to take at the Thomasville History Center. So the safety of our apprentices and our staff is our utmost priority. The Thomasville History Center is closely monitoring the COVID-19 situation across our community. And we plan to adapt and adjust our planned meetings for the apprentice program as needed. In the meantime, for now, we're going to ask that students and staff wear a mask during our meetings and that we comply with all health and safety procedures for our partner institutions during our learning excursions, no matter what someone's vaccination status is. If you happen to be an apprentice of ours and you test positive or you're placed under quarantine because you came in contact with someone who was positive, we ask that you or your adult notifies myself or Amelia immediately, especially if you've been on site at the History Center. Our goal is to keep everyone safe and to make sure that our program is successful and that our apprentices and our staff are taken care of. And then for those of you who are tuning in live right now, this would be a great time. If you do have questions, submit them in our chat box. Amelia is monitoring that right now. If you are catching the replay on one of our social media platforms, feel free to leave a question below and we will respond to you as soon as we can. Let's see if I can pull up in the chat here. All right, no questions yet. We'll hang out for a couple of minutes. Hopefully I didn't talk too fast through that. Any questions from our live audience here? Let me check. Check the Q&A box and chat box. Nope, I don't see any open questions. Oh, I see some in the chat. 
Let's see. All right. It looks like everyone's good to go. Thank you guys so much for attending our virtual meeting today. If you have any questions about the apprentice program, please re reach out to us at the History Center. You can find all of our contact information online. And remember, the deadline to apply is September the 15th. Good luck, and thank you very much. Bye.